Hello, welcome to Greenlight Networks. When a customer switches to Greenlight Networks from another internet service provider, that customer may lose access to any emails associated with that previous company. We recommend switching your email to one of the many free third-party email providers that are available. For example, Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook are some of the most common third-party emails today. We've put together a few steps to show you how easy it is to make that transition. Step 1. Choosing an email. Do a little research and find the best email provider that works for you. Think about what you want in an email provider. For some people, they want a user interface that's easy to use, and for others, they want features that will help with security. Once you choose your provider, think about what you want your email address to be. Choose something you can remember. A lot of people making the switch to a new email will keep the same username, but then transition to the new domain name. For example, if your current email is greenlightforlife at oldisp.com, choose something like greenlightforlife at gmail.com or greenlightforlife at yahoo.com. This not only keeps your email familiar to you, but also helps the people you regularly contact to recognize your new email address. Which leads us to inform your contacts. You want to let the people you normally contact know that your email is changing. You can do this a few different ways. First, if you keep a list of everybody you normally contact, you can send a mass email letting everybody know that your email address will be changing. Make sure all of the recipients are put in the BCC field to protect their privacy. Another way to accomplish this would be to put a message in your signature letting the reader know that your email is going to be changing on a specific date. Update your accounts. A lot of online accounts will be tied to your email. Think about all of the programs and websites you use on a regular basis. A lot of these websites and programs will allow you to change the email that's associated with them. Others will require you to create a new account with the new email. Either way, you want to make sure you have a usable email linked to all of your accounts. This way, if you ever need to recover your password, you have the ability to do so. Import your data. Many email providers will allow you to import your saved emails, contacts, and calendar data from another email account. To do this, you want to find out how to export your data from your current email. Usually, this will be an option found under the settings of your current account. If you need additional help doing this, we recommend reaching out to your old email provider. Once that data is exported, log into your new email and follow the instructions to import that data. Again, if you need additional help, we recommend reaching out to your new email provider. Forward your emails. Lastly, we recommend setting up a rule in the settings of your old email to forward all incoming messages to your new email address. This feature usually can be found in the settings of your old email. Look for something labeled as forwarding. We recommend doing this in advance to give yourself a buffer of time before your email goes away. A good rule of thumb would be to set up the message in your signature as well as this forwarding rule at the same time, about two weeks in advance or more. You've signed up for your new email, you've let everybody know it's changing, all your online accounts have been updated, your emails, contacts, and calendar data have been imported, and any leftover emails are being forwarded to your new email. Congratulations, you're all set and ready for the switch. If you'd like to sign up for Greenlight Network's high-speed fiber optic internet, visit our website at greenlightnetworks.com. We'll see you next time.